Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I got here my Honda CB500X and we're going to do an oil and air filter change. Let's get to it. Okay viewers, the first thing we need to do here is bring the bike up to operating temperature. For this service I'm going to be using Honda GN4 1040 motor oil. You don't have to use GN4, but you do have to use motorcycle oil. It takes 2.6 liters or 2.9 quarts. Here's the part number for the oil filter and the part number for the air filter. I will be replacing the crush washer. To get to the air filter, I will need a Phillips and a 10 mil. I will need tools to get the oil filter off and a 12 mil on an extension to drain the oil. The engine oil drain plug is located on the left hand side of the bike right underneath the shifter, right there. I do have the Rally Raid skid plate on, by the way, which I absolutely love, so this will create a little bit of a mess that I have to clean up afterwards. While the engine oil drains, I'm gonna remove the oil filter. Before I install the new oil filter, I'm going to take a clean rag and I'm just going to wipe around the surface where the o-ring sits. I'm also going to take a little bit of engine oil and put it on the o-ring here. I'm going to tighten up the oil filter as much as I can by hand and then I'm going to turn it just a hair with the tool. Before I reinstall the drain plug, I'm going to stand the bike straight up and down and make sure I get a full drain. Look at that, a little bit more oil came out. Next, I'm going to reinstall the drain plug with a new crush washer. If you haven't done so already guys hit that subscribe button and click on the bell so you don't miss out on any new uploads and if you're finding this one useful smash that thumbs up it really goes a long way to helping out the channel okay now that i have the drain plug back in it's time to start refilling the oil with a little help from our friend the sight glass Now that I got oil back in the bike, I need to fire it up, let it idle for a few minutes, and double check the oil level. Now that we've double checked the oil level, we're going to go after the air filter. The air filter cover is right here, and to get to it, I will first need to take out my battery. Now that I have the battery out, I have to remove this Phillips screw here, holding the junction box in place. And then there are four Phillips screws around the corners, holding the cover on.
Okay, we got our air filter out. As you've seen, it was quite a tight fit. Just keep wiggling it back and forth and you'll get it out. I have 12,000 kilometers on the bike. Honda only recommends you change this every 19,000 kilometers. So let's see how dirty it is. Okay, there it is. Sure is looking pretty dirty. Now I don't do a lot of off-road riding, but I live in a small town and it's pretty dusty. Well, I sure am glad I changed it early. Like I said earlier, I only have 12,000 kilometers on the bike and they don't recommend I change it till 19,000, but she is pretty gross. So let's put the new one in. Okay, back onto the bike it goes. As you're wiggling your airbox cover back in, just be mindful of all the wires down here. Now I just need to reattach my junction box and reinstall the battery. Reinstalling the seats on these bikes can be kind of tricky. The key is to set your front in place, get your middle hooks in, and then push down on the back. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and click up here to check out the next video. This has been my oil and air filter change on the Honda CB500X. Stay tuned for the next one.